Hello, good evening, Arlen. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, good evening, Amilcar. Good evening, how are you? Thank you so much. You're welcome. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Yeah. All right then. Yeah. Thank you for, for your information. By the phone. Okay, no problem. My pleasure. Very excellent. Yes, the one that I sent to the chat right now. Could you repeat again, please? Yes, the information that I sent on the chat. Uh, yes. Okay then. Yes. Yes, that's that's what we're going to to cover today. Eso es lo que vamos a cubrir hoy. Um, we're going to cover because somebody asked me yesterday um, about what to use myself, yourself, uh, himself, uh, herself, right? Because sometimes it's a bit confusing um, when to use any of them. A veces es un poquito confuso cuando ocuparlos, right? So this is a little bit of topic. Es un poquito fuera de los temas que están in a plataforma, but it's also it's important to yeah, to understand this. Very mm -hmm. important for us. That is correct. Yo sé que está fuera de los temas de la plataforma. Sin embargo, es bastante importante conocerlo, right? Because um, the platform covers a lot of topics, all right? But um, still are missing a bit of them, all right? Cubre un montón de temas que es excelente, está bastante explicado, pero el idioma inglés es tan extenso que es imposible cu cubrirlo todo, right? In just a month. Uh -huh. So, well, welcome everybody. Welcome for being on time. Uh, I'm sorry, thank you. Thank you for being on time. Gracias por estar a tiempo. And how are you doing, guys? How was your day today? It was very very hard but thanks to god we finish uh, so so early this day okay then i'm i'm, I'm happy to hear that Emilka. yes because this day we live in uh, of work uh, more or less at two two o'clock mm -hmm. yes so we were uh, early at home oh okay yeah, and today the, today the traffic traffic was awful. Uh, I remember in the morning when I had to go to my my other job. In the morning, it was awful and a, a lot of accidents. Um, and somebody in front of me uh, crashed with a motorcycle in the morning, and and I was like, "What just happened?" Because okay. he uh, yeah. Pretty much, the guy from the motorcycle just flew away, and yeah. yes, it was. It was. I mean, I was like in shock. What do I do? Because I was right behind them, and yeah, people. When there is a lot of traffic, they get, um, they get flustered, right? They they don't know what to do. Hay personas que se desesperan con el tráfico. Yes. Um, Sorry to hear that. Yes. So, but the good thing is that the person from the motorcycle was okay. Uh, because it wasn't me, uh, it was in front of me. But I was, I was in shock. Like, what? I mean, because the other guy, he just changed lanes, and he didn't care about the other cars. And it was, and the motorcycle was on, on the lane. All right. So no es como cuando va en medio los dos carros, las motos, verdad? Ese motociclista iba en su carril. 
And I was like, what? But it, the good thing is that he's, he was okay because he stood up and ain't nobody, ha ain't nothing happened to him. So, yeah. You go to, you go to your work by, by car or yes. by bus? No, I go by car. So, <laughs> yeah, I drive. Uh, so it's it's sometimes a bit hard because of the traffic. But still, it's a it's a blessing, right? It's una bendición, por decirlo así. Yes, yes. Yes. Nice All right, then. Yes. All right, guys. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to talk with you. Uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you, too, Amilcar. Uh, so, and, well, how, how was the, the platform, guys? I don't know if somebody else uh, would like to to talk how was uh, to talk about how was your day. Alguien más que me quiera decir cómo estuvo su día? Thank you very much, Amilcar, for doing it. All right. Gracias por compartir tu día con nosotros. What about somebody else? Are you there, guys? Or is it just me here? Okay, then. So before we start, guys, I would like to know if you have any questions about the platform. Um, if you're if you're doing if you're doing good with the knowledge checks, right? And if you are if you already finished section number one from the platform, because according to the calendar, you should have finished section two, uh, because on Friday, uh, you have to finish um, the midterm exam. All right, para el viernes, me comentan que debemos de haber finalizado el examen de medio curso. That is, you can find this midterm exam on section three from the platform at the end. Pueden encontrar el examen de medio curso al final de la sección 3. I don't know if you have any issues, guys, with the platform, or so far you're doing okay. My work is only in the section one. It's okay, don't worry. Yes. In, in case you have any questions about any knowledge check, you can let me know and, and, and I can help you. Mm -hmm. Everything is okay. Okay, then, perfect. Okay. Awesome. Veo que vienen un poquito calladitos todos. <laughs> Solo Milcar tiene ganas de hablar. No, no hay problema. Yo sé que estamos cansaditos. All right. So, uh, well, but I'm glad that you're here. Me alegra un montón, un montón que estén conmigo ahorita, guys. Y lo prometido es deuda. Yesterday, I mentioned you that we will cover. Uh, reflexive pronouns. Let me share my screen with you. So we have reflexive pronouns, right? Does somebody know? Tienen, ¿Qué se les viene a la mente cuando decimos pronouns? This one. What is it? What is this? Pronouns. Um, pronouns are uh, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Perfect. So those are, that's it. Pronouns or nouns are the ones that Amilcar mentioned, right? I, you, he, she, it, we, they, right? So reflexive means when you're talking about yourself, right? Cuando estamos hablando de nosotros mismos, um, ya sea con cualquier pronombre, a eso se le reconoce como reflexive pronouns. All right, so I already sent, by the way, this presentation to you guys. Oops, ya les envié esta eh, presentación a ustedes. I don't know if you can see my screen. Um, let me see. Okay, for example, guys, uh, when the subject and the object in a sentence refer to the same person or thing, we use a reflexive pronoun, all right? For example, como mencionó Amilcar, we have subject pronouns, right? Los pronombres que nos referimos a los sujetos, all right? Por ejemplo, I, you, he, she, it, we, you for plural, and they, all right? Ahora, tenemos los pronombres reflexivos también. For I, that will be myself, all right? 
voy a hacer acá el cuadrito. I, myself, you, yourself, he, himself, she, herself, it, itself, we, ourselves, you, yourselves, cuando es plural, ok, y they, themselves, all right, so, cuando es que se va a utilizar esto, all right, si es you, en singular, sería yourself, ¿cómo traduciríamos el self al español, como mismo, por ejemplo, yo mismo, tú mismo, él mismo, ella misma, eso mismo, nosotros mismos, ustedes mismos, right? Ustedes, plural, usted, singular. Themselves, ellos mismos. ¿Vamos bien hasta ahorita, guys? Yo. Yes. Awesome. Perfect, yes. amazing. Yes. So, Thank you very much, everybody. Me alegra escuchar la voz. Yay. Ya sé que están ahí. <laughs> All right. Yes. 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 Awesome. It's so, interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. Because sometimes we don't know when to use them. La, lo difícil de esto es cuando no nos explican cuándo utilizarlos. All right. Vamos a regresar. Eh, y aquí tengo unos, unos ejemplos. No me gustaría dárselos todavía porque quiero explicarles ¿Cómo es que se utilizan? Right? Ya vamos a regresar a los ejemplos, ¿de acuerdo? Voy a ir a explicarles primero cómo es que se utilizan. Right? So let's go and see how we use them. Right? Déjenme borrar aquí los dibujitos. So guys, tenemos aquí, ¿quién me, ¿quién me puede ayudar a leer solo esta primera parte? La parte de arriba. Me. Ok, Astrid. Me. Thank you. Yes. When to use reflexive pronouns? We use myself, yourself, him, himself, herself, themselves, or itself when the object of the sentences is the same as the subject. Perfect. So, the object, do you remember, guys? What is the object and the subject? ¿Se recuerdan cuál es la diferencia? What is subject? Eso que es? Teacher. Yes? Object is a thing. That is correct. And what about subject? What is subject? Subject is a person. No. That okay. is correct. It can be a person or it can be the, okay. the, the someone or something you're talking about, right? It's like saying in, in okay. Spanish, el sujeto. El sujeto puede ser cualquier cosa. Sujeto. Puede ser una uh -huh. persona, un animal, un edificio, uh -huh. eh, anything. It can be anything, right? Uh -huh. And the object, it is what we're talking about the subject, right? El objeto es lo que estamos diciendo del sujeto. En otras palabras, en español el objeto se le conoce como el predicado. Pero para ponerlo más sencillo, es lo que estás diciendo de quién o de qué estás hablando. All right? For example, vamos a dividir la oración que está abajo. All right? We're going to use another color. All right? My daughter. This is the subject, right? Yeah. This one. The subject. Yeah. What will be the, ob the verb? Perdón, ahí me equivoqué yo. This is subject, right? Verb. And then we have the object. Okay? So the sentence can stay like that. La oración en presente simple puede quedarse así. My daughter walks to school. But What if we want to emphasize that this person is doing it 
all alone, que lo está haciendo ella solita. ¿Sí? A eso se refiere el reflexive pronoun, right? Vamos a poner en otro color. By herself. All right? So this one will be the reflexive Pronoun. Este guys generalmente va a ir al final, no siempre, pero a veces la mayoría de veces va a ir al final, acompañado por el by, por esta palabrita by. All right? My daughter walks to school by herself. Who can Teacher. translate this sentence in Spanish? Yes, who, who talk? I'm sorry. ¿Quién habló? Perdón. Always. Uh, me? Oh, Astrid. Okay. Astrid, yes, tell me. And always I can, I can use or um, I a devil who's a devil. I have? I have to. Or, I I I have I have to I have to use by uh, in in all sentences. No, not necessarily. All, all yes, yes, I I understood. No. So yes, not not always. Ya les puedo explicar en qué situaciones, uh, in which scenarios. Okay. When I use by, and sometimes you don't have to use by. For example, I have this one for herself or myself, right? That is before the object. So these are just examples, all right? Not always, but you can do it, all right? No siempre, pero sí se puede ocupar el by. Ahorita solo es como decirles a qué nos referimos cuando estamos hablando de myself, yourself, etc., right? Esto es solamente cuando el sujeto de la oración que vamos a hablar es lo mismo que el sujeto. All right? Si va, generalmente, guys, esto se utiliza para enfatizar. En pocas palabras, esto es enfatizar la acción. Um, como por ejemplo, uh, when you were at school or at the university um, and, you had, and you had homeworks or you had projects to deliver, right? Most of the time, Uh, sometimes you had to do it, um, you had to do it uh, by yourself, right? And people didn't do the job, right? I don't know if, if this any, uh, happened to you or not. No sé si esto alguna vez les pasó, de que en la escuela o en la universidad o en el colegio eh, les dejaban proyectos en grupo y a veces solo uno solito lo tenía que hacer. Um, so, ustedes enfatizaban, yo hice el proyecto yo sola o yo solo o por mí mismo, por mí misma, right? All so, myself. <laughs> all by myself, right? All me. <laughs> Los diez de ellos, pónganmelo a mí. Right? <laughs> so, we use this para enfatizar que esa, eso que pasó fue que ellos lo hicieron. Puede ser uh, singular, plural, right? Y se puede referir a cualquier pronombre. Si se fijan, hay uno para todos los pronombres, sí o no. If you see here, for example, we have the singular, right? And we have the plural, right? So singular, it's when I'm talking about me. Yourself, when I'm talking about you. For example, Francisco, you are you. Usted, singular de usted, right? Himself. If I'm talking, for example, about Dennis, himself. Si estoy hablando de Astrid, sería herself. Si estoy hablando de un objeto, it self, right? ¿Cómo podríamos ocupar itself? For example, when you are on a printer, right? When you're when you're using a printer, the copies it do it itself by itself, right? La copiadora, usted solo le dice cuántas copias quiere, pone el documento y ella solita hace saca todas las copias, sí o no? So, en ese, en ese, sí. ajá, exacto. Entonces, en ese escenario se puede ocupar así, itself. All right? Singular. Plural también existe. Or, Or teacher, teacher, por ejemplo, my dog eat cracker. 
uh, by itself. My dog, I'm sorry? My dog is cracked uh, by itself. It's, <laughs> yes, you can use it like that. Uh -huh. And okay. you are emphasizing, emphasizing that your dog do it, it, it by alone, all right? Que lo hizo solito. Um, or, I, here, mm, or for example, I paid at university by myself. Perfect, yes, both. Los dos ejemplos están perfectos. Both uh, examples are perfect because you're emphasizing, for example, that your dog did that. And Astrid, for example, paid the university by herself, right? By her sweat, <laughs> right? By her sweat from, from her forehead, right? <laughs> by, yes, yes, that's correct. Yes, right? Es que es así, right? When, cuando queremos darle importancia, en otras palabras, right? O enfatizar que esa acción pasó por ese, por ese sujeto específicamente o por esa persona, es que utilizamos estos, all right? So far, so good. Hasta ahorita, ¿vamos bien? Sure. Por lo menos, yes? Yeah, for example, yes. Uh, yes. I can say, I did, I did the, break, the breakfast for myself. That is correct. In that case, el for, you're saying it that you're not sharing it, right? Si utilizamos el for, quiere decir que no lo estamos compartiendo, que solo fue para ti solito. I made breakfast for myself, right? By myself. myself. Oh, by myself, right? Mm -hmm. Ajá. El by en ese caso sería que tú solito hiciste el desayuno. Y ahí si yes. tú quieres compartir, lo compartís. <laughs> right? For All right. Everybody. For everybody, right? We're very hungry in the morning. <laughs> awesome. All right. So let's continue then. Yeah, si tienen preguntas, díganme. Ok, nos podemos regresar y no hay problema. ¿Sí? Voy a tomar su silencio como un sí. <laughs> All right, let's okay. continue. Thank you. All right, so for example, when you are introducing yourself to somebody, right? When you want to let the other person know your name, cuando nos queremos presentar, right? Uh, Les quieren decir su nombre o su información. No sé si se han fijado que utilizamos esta frase en específico. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jennifer Valiente. For example, eso es lo que les dije el primer día de la clase, right? Let me introduce myself. My name is Jennifer Valente and I'm going to be your teacher. Les dije, right? So, here, me, like this, is the subject, right? En este caso, me es el sujeto. Y el predicado o el objeto, por decirlo así, sería myself, right? Porque me voy, voy a introducirme a mí misma, right? No necesito que nadie más diga quién soy, sino que yo solita lo voy a hacer. ¿Se entiende? Yes, did you. All right, awesome. So, como les estaba yes. diciendo, thank you, thank you. Uh, we use it for emphasis, right? That's how we use it, right? For example, uh, Amilcar said, I did it myself. I did the breakfast myself, or I did the breakfast by myself, right? Está diciendo que él solito no necesitó ayuda de nadie más para hacer el desayuno, right? Or, for example, Astrid said, I paid the university by myself, right? Because she did it and she didn't, didn't uh, need help for anybody, right? Or, for example, if you, um, if you go to a concert, right, the artist will uh, sign your shirt, right? Or anything, any merchandise for themselves, right? A veces, si han ido a conciertos, por ejemplo, la gente que le, gust le gusta ir, porque hoy no sé si van a volver a ver conciertos, por lo menos en el futuro cercano. But they used to sign autographs, right? Solían firmar autógrafos, right? By themselves, ellos solitos. No necesitaban que nadie más firmara por ellos, right? Now, sometimes, any of them can also, uh, can mean also, right? A veces, solo algunas veces, también puede significar también, valga la redundancia, I'm sorry. For example, um, Annabelle, or you can change this name for any name you want, 
was pretty happy last night. I was pretty happy myself, right? In this case, this person is saying, Anabel estuvo bastante feliz anoche. Yo también estaba bastante feliz anoche, right? Yo también, also, right? ¿Se recuerdan qué significaba also? También, ¿ok? Vamos a poner aquí a un ladito. Vamos así. También, in Spanish, right? In Spanish, right? Yo también estaba feliz, ¿ok? Hasta ahorita, ¿vamos bien? Ahorita viene la explicación cuando se yes, utiliza sí. el by y mm. lo demás. All right then. Teacher. Thank you. Dígame. Teacher. Dígame. Sí. Uh, I was I was read and read in some cases it when I say uh, algunas veces. Sometimes. Ajá. Uh -huh, sometimes. Oh. En algunas, en, al, en algunas ocasiones, ¿o cómo sería ahí? In some okay, cases. perdón. Oh, that's correct. This is that, no sé quién dijo sometimes, pero eso sería, right? Sometimes, <laughs> yes, it, no, escuché, es que los tengo un ladito y no puedo ver los nombres, I'm sorry. So, sometimes and in some cases are the same. Uh, let's say that these are synonyms, all right? In some cases or sometimes we use it in a similar meaning. Right? Ambas significan lo mismo. Similar. Serían uh, similar or synonyms o sinónimos. Puedo usar las dos sin problema. That is correct. Con la que usted se sienta más cómoda. Okay. All right then. Any other question? Antes de que continuemos con la explica de lo más detalladito. Sure. Uh, only in the second sentence. Uh, uh, I don't know what's meaning in the above sentence. What do you mean above? Uh, which one, I'm sorry? How do you say uh, uh, the second sentence? And this one? The, uh, yes, yes. Uh, all right. Above, above means arriba. Ahí no se me ve la mano en la pantalla. Sorry, pero significa arriba. All right. Yes. In the yes. above sentence, in a oración de arriba, Lo voy a poner aquí. Okay. Okay. Yes. This is like saying arriba. Okay. okay. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. No worries. Any other word that you're not familiar with, guys? ¿Alguna otra palabra que no estén familiarizados? Sign, por ejemplo, en este caso es autógrafo. Oh, let's see. Let's autógrafo, signed. Firma. Ajá, exacto. Firma. La firma. Ajá. Okay. O el autor. Uh -huh. yes. Énfasis específico. Énfasis. Yes, or como hacer énfasis. Énfasis. O darle importancia, digamos, en otras palabras. Darle oh. importancia. Ahí está. Darle importancia. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. All right, then. Perfect. Okay. So let's continue then. Vamos a continuar. Eh, esta ya se las envía por correo. No sé si la están, la están copiando en su cuaderno. Me avisan. Si no, continuamos. Go ahead. Okay then. Thank you. All right. So let's continue. Let me. All right. So for example, the plural ones ourselves, themselves, and each other. What is the difference? For example, with each other, guys, let me, this one, each other. We use it with two, when two or more people or things perform the same action to the other, right? Cuando, lo utilizamos cuando dos o más personas o cosas hacen la misma acción hacia la otra, right? For example, our neighbors were shouting at each other last night. This sometimes is common, right? Um, for, and the next one, my brothers always compete with each other in sports, right? Nuestros vecinos, dice la primera, estaban gritándose uno al otro, unos a los otros 
Toda la noche, right? So saying each other, it's like saying. Puede significar varias cosas. Unos a otros, entre ellos, etc. All right? Each other. Mm -hmm. It can mean any of them. All right? Each other. Okay. When two or more people or things, personas o cosas, right? Also, we can make, we can see the difference between these two sentences, right? También, when we use themselves and each other, ambas tienen significado diferente. Nunca van a ser lo mismo. Porque ya dijimos que each other es cuando pasa esa acción una a la otra, como una acción recíproca, por decirlo así, right? Uh, Y perdón por el ejemplo, pero fue la única que pude encontrar que se viera mejor la diferencia, right? For example, Mark and Sarah killed themselves. So they say that they each committed suicide, right? Nadie le hizo nada a nadie. Ellos solitos lo hicieron. Eso pasa con themselves, right? Que estamos enfatizando que ellos solo lo hicieron y nadie más tuvo que ver. ¿Qué pasa con each other? Cuando dice Mark and Sarah killed each other, means that Mark killed Sarah and she killed Mark, right? So, pongamos otro ejemplo menos macabro. <laughs> uh, vamos a poner, quiero ver, voy a agarrar a Milcar en oh. Astrid. <laughs> Qué vale. But present or themselves, right? Presents, or if you don't want to say it presents, let's call them gifts, all right? Regalos. Okay. They bought gifts for themselves. I need a new phone. <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> we all need a new phone, yes. And Amilcar and Astrid bought presents or gifts, right, for each other. Can you spot the difference, guys? ¿Cuál sería la diferencia? No hay respuestas incorrectas, all right? Just guess, at, ¿qué creen cuál sería la diferencia entre ellas dos? Well, the difference is that in the first sentence, uh, it says, uh, Eh, ellos mismos. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cómo le traducirías la primera? I'm sorry. Ella, a mi querida Astrid compraron presentes para ellos, eh, ellos mismos. ¿Y la segunda? En eh, la segunda sentencia dice que a mi querida Astrid bought presents for, eh, es decir, se compraron regalos el uno al otro. Perfecto. Ahí está. Esa es la diferencia, right? Nunca va a ser lo mismo en este caso, themselves and each other. Pero, y podemos notar la diferencia. Perfecto, Milka. Excelente. All right. ¿Estamos todos en la misma página, guys? ¿Vamos bien hasta ahorita? ¿Todos? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Perfect, then. All right. In that case, let's continue. En este caso, vamos a continuar. Ahora how to use them, all right? Oops, sorry, me adelanté. ¿Cómo sería la fórmula? What would be the formula uh, when to and how to use them, right? It will always be the noun at the beginning, all right? Siempre va a ser el pronombre al principio, all right? It will always be the noun. Quiero ver cómo se ve este, all right? The noun, right? She cooked, right? The verb, tenemos el verbo ahí. Verb, verb. Herself, reflexive pronoun, reflexive pronoun. The object, ¿qué fue lo que cocinó para ella misma? Un omelette, right? Así sería. Cuando hacemos algo nosotros mismos, ¿sí? 
se ocupa de esta manera, ¿ok? Solo cuando lo hacemos, nos, queremos decir que nosotros hicimos eso, ¿ok? We taught ourselves French, right? Nos enseñamos nosotros mismos francés. Como decimos, esto, esta fórmula la ocupamos cuando queremos decir que nosotros hicimos eso, nosotros solitos. Ahora, cuando queremos enfatizar, aparte de enfatizar que nosotros solos lo hicimos y que no necesitamos la ayuda o asistencia de alguien más, entonces el reflexive pronoun va al final. ¿Right? Por ejemplo, she cooked an omelette. Uy, al revés lo puse, I'm sorry. Omelette herself, right? En otras palabras, guys, la segunda fórmula la utilizamos cuando queremos ser exagerados. Quería ocupar el cuadrito. Esta la ocupamos cuando queremos ser exagerados. Y no necesariamente exagerados, sino que queremos darle énfasis es que nosotros mismos o ellos mismos o él mismo hizo esa acción. All right? Se pone al final. So far so good? ¿Vamos bien hasta ahorita? No sé si se nota la diferencia. ¿Cuándo lo van a poner antes y cuándo lo van a poner después? Aquí, guys, it's when however you feel comfortable. ¿Cómo ustedes se sientan cómodos utilizando? No es que una o la otra tienen que ocupar. Pueden ocupar las dos. That's okay. So far, so good? ¿Estamos bien? Good teacher. Ok, then. Estamos, eh, estamos claro con la fórmula que vamos a ocupar para saber cuándo y utilizarlo. I see, I see better the, the second sentence. To right? Speak. Yes, to that's correct. She took <laughs> an amulet herself. That's correct. And yes, sometimes it's even um, it's even better using the second one, right? Because at the end, the refle reflexive pronoun is to emphasize that action, right? Porque al final, guys, el reflexive pronoun es para enfatizar esa acción. Yo generalmente lo utilizo al final porque estoy eh, dándole importancia a eso, right? Pero eso no quiere decir que esté mal ocupar el primero. Es como ustedes se sienten más cómodos, all right? So, como le mencioné a Astrid, vamos a ver ahorita el by. No, no, no uh, we use by in any reflexive pronoun when we are alone or not with another person. El by solamente se utiliza cuando estamos solitos o cuando no hay nadie acompañándonos, all right? O acompañando a ese grupo de personas uh, en singular, all right? Jacob went to the party by himself. Emma was sitting by herself. ¿Quién me podría traducir la primera? Si ya, ya decimos que el by se utiliza cuando estamos solitos o, o sin otra persona. Sí, ya. Que Jacob fue a la fiesta del sol. Perfect. ¿Y la segunda? Estuvo sentado ella solo. Perfect. Amazing. So, that's it. El by solo en esta ocasión lo vamos a utilizar. All right? Luego, no es necesario utilizar el by o el for. All right? You can just use the, the pronoun and that's okay. Pueden solo utilizar el pronombre y está bien. ¿Ok? Ok. All right. Do you have any questions, guys? ¿Hay alguna pregunta acerca de este tema? Si la hay y no me la quieren hacer aquí, no se preocupen. Me pueden mandar las preguntas por el chat. All right? Si les da penita, no se preocupen. No los, no los voy a, a regañar ni nada. You can send me the questions uh, through WhatsApp or on my personal, uh, through a personal message. So, we have around 20 minutes left. All right, tenemos como 20 minutos para que ustedes practiquen. Teacher. Tell me, yes. Yes. Yes, Jorge, tell me. Uh, 
yeah, I'm sorry. Today I had many problems with the listening the class. I tried right now. Uh, tomorrow, uh, maybe you you send me the class or you put the class again. Yes, we can we can uh, we can review this tomorrow again. Don't worry. Uh, I already sent the class on WhatsApp, so you can review it there. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. All right. Yeah. Yes, I already sent the, the PDF uh, through WhatsApp, and it's no problem. We can review it tomorrow too. Y no hay problema. Podemos revisarla de nuevo mañana. Yes. But qué quiero que hagamos ahorita? You're welcome. You're welcome. What do I want you to do right now? Solo tenemos más o menos 20 minutos. So, uh, what I want you to do, guys, is that, uh, ya le voy a enviar el link, Francisco. Solo denme un momentito. Uh, what I want you to do is that, um, I want you to think of things you have done by yourself, all right? Quiero que piensen en cosas que ustedes han logrado ustedes solos. O si ustedes conocen personas que han logrado cosas por ellos claro. solos, right? So, for example, um, y, puede, y pueden ser cosas sencillas, guys. Eh, no es necesario que piensen en algo tan elaborado. Por ejemplo, creó una empresa ella sola o él solo, right? Puede ser algo sencillo como que hoy en la noche me hice la cena yo sola, right? It can be anything. Puede ser cualquiera, all right? Eh, como no vamos a poder compartir la información hoy, Mañana cuando ingresemos, me van a dar un ejemplo cada uno, all right? Para no tomarnos mucho tiempo, ¿sí? So, I'm going to send you, ¿está clara las instrucciones para lo que vamos a practicar ahorita? Yes. Awesome. Clear. clear. Amazing. Clear as water yes, it's clear. or clear as horchata. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. So, let's go, guys. Let's go. I just sent you the invitation. Please accept it so you can practice, all right? And remember that tomorrow you, you're gonna give me one example. Hello. Jorge? Yes, I'm going to try, okay? Okay, no problem. Okay. Take your time. Be safe. Yeah. Be safe. No se preocupen. Okay. Yes, va manejando, entonces tranquilo, okay? <laughs> I yes. try. I try. <laughs> I try to drive and listen to the class my, by myself. <laughs> oh my God, Francisco. Uh, I'm sorry, Jorge. Be careful. Be careful, yes. Francisco. <laughs> no, no, I go, I go no, no, Francisco is Jorge. Yes, Jorge. I'm sorry, Jorge. Yes, tenga okay, cuidado. Go. Yeah, be careful. No, no, I go. I'm, yes. Okay. okay, then. Okay. The way, the way is free. No, no many cars inside. Okay, then. Mm, rice with chicken by my myself. Myself, okay. And, and, and my and, mom and wow. my mom, my mom wash, washed, washed, uh, her car herself. By herself. Okay. Uh, yeah. You? And today I cook my dinner by myself. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 
Or for example, um, my brother, uh, my brother, my brother does, my, bro my brother, my brother does, uh, his his bed i mm. i think i think it's correct but i don't know <laughs> my brother uh, does does his bed by himself it's correct yep Yes, yeah, I right. think that's right. I think yeah. it is right. Or or my sister cleaned the bedroom or your or her bedroom uh, herself. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Or my boyfriend. My boyfriend and that uh, my my boyfriend cook uh, this e this evening mm -hmm. yeah by uh, by yourself himself eh cocinó para él cocinó para ustedes él él cocinó por sí solo verdad sería himself in this case, yes, but uh, I uh, can for you. Uh, if if it, you want yes, to say, it's correct. Uh, your boyfriend cooked for you. That's, that is correct. Mm -hmm. How how they say that? Yeah, because uh -huh. remember yes, that my, your uh, yourself it's uh, para usted mismo, digamos. Pero para ustedes es como dice mm -hmm. they for you. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, entonces oh. sería, digamos que el self es mismo, tú mismo, el mismo, Ajá. ellos mismos. Ah, entonces en este caso, que cocinó para ustedes, eh, no se podría utilizar el, el yourself, porque ah. es como para ustedes mismos. Entonces, para digamos, ellos. Entonces. Ajá, solo sería para ellos. Ajá. Sería de, themselves. No, for, for you or for them. Uh -huh. ah. you or them. Uh -huh. My boyfriend cooked this this evening for you. Yeah. Uh -huh. A menos ah. que quiera decir que cocinó, Your que boyfriend. él solo logró cocinar todo, ahí se puede decir he cooked himself for you. He made everything, right? Like uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah. Porque sí lo puede decir. Podría decir, él cocinó yeah. solito para ustedes. Ahí sí. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. ah, ok, ok, ok. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. And the, the other example could be um, I I learned how to skate by myself, right? I learned how to skate. How to how to skate, yeah. Ah, yes. Skate, yes. Skateboarding, yeah. Like, yes, it's correct. Okay, a skate is a bird, yeah. right? To to use a a board and make tricks and those stuff, right? Yes, in this case, you can use it as a bird. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. For uh, for example. I can, I can see, I can, I can say, yeah, yeah. puedo decir, I can say, yeah. para ahorrar es, keep, save, no, save, yes, save. ahorrar, yeah, ah, keep, eh, guardar, okay, okay, eh, for example, I 
I save, I save um, some money. Yeah. By myself. Yeah, that's correct. Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Or for example, I uh, I I find the case by myself. I I find the case. I find the case. The case. La llave. Uh, the keys. Ah, the keys. I find uh, yeah. the keys. Uh, I find the keys by myself. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. uh, well, another example could be um, uh, I sold $200 today by myself, right? Mm -hmm. Or if another person did the thing, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, how many times we have? Mm, uh, I can I buy I buy ah <laughs> I I bought <laughs> I bought I bought a car by myself. <laughs> uh, it's a good one. That's a good one. It's really yeah. good. Game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my goal, by the way. <laughs> of course. Yeah, someday, someday, someday. Yeah. Um, I get a job by myself as well, or my my brother get a job, but but himself. I you is is himself or is he he himself. Himself. Ajá, es himself. Right? Se está hablando de él, digamos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y se está hablando de un eso. It. Itself. No, mm. but, but we have him and we have his. Right? Ah, but that, that is something different. His, uh -huh. it's a possessive uh -huh. pronoun. Es un por, pronombre posesivo, el his. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ajá. Ah. Yeah, that's a different yes. way, right? a different thing, or, or yeah. That's correct. Uh, okay, so it's com himself. Mm -hmm. Himself. Himself. Okay. Now it's pretty cl clear. Okay then. <laughs> so, uh, my examples are over. <laughs> And I, I cut, I, uh, yes, I cut my hair by myself <laughs> yesterday. Uh, repeat, repeat, I didn't, uh, I didn't I, hear you. I cut my hair. Ah. I cut could. my hair by myself okay. yesterday. Or yesterday okay. I I cut my hair by my Another, uh, another sentence. Mm -hmm. Verdad que dijo que hasta mañana íbamos a, 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 a compartirlas. Sí, estaba así dijo. Hasta mañana, pero bueno.
de casualidad usted no ha tenido problemas con la plataforma. Sí, que no. Ahorita he empezado con la sección 2. No sé si después de eso hay algún problema. Porque por ahí voy. Ah, no es uh -huh. que ahora no, no pude. No me daba para ingresar. Y le puse su no correo. Sé, no, sé, no sé si es el internet. No, es que... Es que sí puedo entrar, pero... Cuando le doy en el... En las, no sé si se ha fijado en las... Donde está el para video, el objetivo, el video y la y la actividad. Mm, sí, en la parte superior. Ahí, ajá, ahí no mm. me daba. Como que no le pasa. O sea, ajá, como acabo. que... Bye. Repeat, please. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Don't worry. It's my internet. Está malísimo esto. Aquí. I'm sorry, Jorge. Are you But, still driving? No, Marjorie, thank you. No, right now I stop in my home. Oh, okay. But in my home right now, there are many people. Oh. There are there are many people, 20 persons living in my home right now. Everybody's connecting internet. I'm sorry. Yes, maybe that's the reason why it's got enough. Yes. But it, yeah but i'm glad i'm happy that you're home now <laughs> yes i was i was a bit worried i'm not gonna lie i was a bit worried that you were driving and on the class but i'm happy that you're home now all right then guys so let's wait for the others let's see get a lot jorge ayala Mayor Adorellana, Astrid, Dave, ahí está. Juan Campos, Patricia Flores, uh -huh. Dennis, Jorge Herrera y Marcela Chacón. Ok, ya estamos todos. All right, guys. Thank you very much. So I would like to know if you have any questions because of the time. Uh, hasta mañana me van a decir un ejemplo de lo que practicamos hoy. All right. So, uh, but do you have any questions before you go? Tienen alguna pregunta antes de que se vayan? Uh, nothing. I think by my by my side, nothing. Awesome then, Dave. Thank you very much. But in any case, guys, remember that we're going to review again tomorrow this. See? So this can be a lot clearer tomorrow. See? Yo sé que es algo nuevo, entonces lo vamos a volver a revisar mañana. Okay? So don't worry. Thank you very much for joining, guys. And I hope you have a good evening. See you later. See you tomorrow. Good evening. See you tomorrow. Good evening. Bye bye. Good Take care, evening, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. Take care. You are a good teacher. Thank you, Emilcar. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you tomorrow, Emilcar. Take care. See you tomorrow. We can follow. <laughs> yes, I, I have to go to the other class, but don't worry. I'm going to see you tomorrow. In case you have any questions, don't hesitate to, to send me a message. All right? See you guys. And now you lost everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No one's All right. everybody. Yes. <laughs> All right, then. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Have a good night.
You too. Bye.